I'm excited to delve into this one, guys. This board is my launch plan for new client template. This is what I use for every client that comes in through Archangel Inc. Uh, I actually even use it for my own clients as well beyond Archangel Inc. If they have individual tasks they want me to do, or if someone says, hey, Jordan, can you help me with the book launch? This is what I would util utilize. This is how I would start. <clears throat> this is uh, the, the past board I showed you, the, J and, the Jordan and Miranda board. That's like an idea to do um, board tracking for different ideas. That's basically like a place to store stuff, get on there every once in a while, add new ideas, uh, and do all of that stuff. But this board is a true Kanban board as far as processes go. Uh, that's why I'm so excited to share this one with you. Uh, I am so happy that I found Trello to be able to utilize uh, for this. I wouldn't be able to plan out the launches. I wouldn't be able to organize everything if it wasn't for Trello. And for the fact that it keeps everything, that I can update everything in real time. Uh, as, I, as I learn new stuff, as I change with certain things, I try to go into this board as often as, as, often as I can so that when I get a new client, I am working from my best, uh, my, I'm putting my best foot forward, basically. And I'm not having to go in and change a bunch of things that I already know need to be changed. I'm able to do this as I go, and then once I get a new client, voila, I can start working with them right away uh, and be figuring this stuff out. <clears throat> so I will go over these lists with you and how I utilize them. Notice the cool sticker on this one. Now this is just a basic sticker, launch date, check mark, uh, over here in menu, stickers. If I wanted to add another cool thing, I could add like a little launch thing for that, just to, just to be a little bit more exciting for the launch date. Uh, I keep this in the top left list and I keep it in the, I keep this card at the very top. That's why I label it. Uh, it's very important for me to know when the launch date is. As far as launching a book, you wanna know when your date is as soon as you possibly can because that's gonna help you uh, be able to uh, launch that. So for that reason, I have it up here. I put, it, I put the date up here uh, and then I put the due date whenever that is. I match that just to make sure that everyone know, everyone's on the same page and knows uh, what to do with that board. The other thing I do is when I first thing I do when I start, this is how this is the template that I use. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to show menu. I'm going to go down here to copy board. Uh, and then I'm going to name it Jordan or I'm going to name it whoever the client is. Um, if it was Michelle, I'm going to I'm going to say Michelle launch, Michelle book launch. That's going to create an exact copy of this board. Uh, and then I'm going to go and then invite Michelle to work on that board with me. Some clients will work with you, <clears throat> some clients don't, and that's okay, I'm able to do it on my own uh, without the client actually looking at it. But if the client wants to work, look at it and see what I'm doing, see where the process is with things, add notes, add questions, at reply me, they're able to do that. It's a lot of cool collaboration with that and I definitely encourage my clients to be able to do that. So that's what I would do. I would take this template and then I would copy that uh, basically, it would make this whole new board. It would keep the cards where they are. It would keep the attachments and the descriptions and stuff uh, and all of that. Uh, important to note, though, if you're going to utilize a board like that that you're going to be able to then copy from over and over, make sure you're not putting anything in the comments because as of right now, there's no way to copy the comments on a card, but it will copy the attachments and it will, it will copy the descriptions. So whenever you're adding something, just make sure something is up here in the descriptions not as a comment to that card. <clears throat> so you can see right here, um, that, that was for something else, but that has a comment, but that's okay, because that won't, that won't go uh, across on the other thing, so that's fine. Uh, as I'm working with the client, this, is, this would be what I'm starting with. I'm starting with these deliverable, del deliverables up here. That, those are the things that I am doing for the client. These things right here are client tasks. These are the things that the client has to do, or uh, that I'm going to be moving over and just making sure that they do. Sending them an email and say, hey, did you set this up yet? Here's a guide on how to do it. Um, actually setting it up for them is beyond the scope of what, what I would do. So I would, I would just make sure uh, that they, that I, I need to make sure that it gets done regardless of whether it's on me or not. So, <clears throat> uh, the, so I would move that to in progress. If I sent them an email, I would move this to in progress and I would, I would type in the comments, I would say, sent email and then the date I sent it uh, so I can keep pro so I can keep tabs on that. Whatever you're working on currently is in the in progress. So I would say I emailed them about this, uh, still waiting to get that up. Whenever I heard back from them, 
and they had officially set up their Author Central page, excuse me, or I noticed on Amazon that they had completed that page, I would go in and move that from in progress to over to delivered. So I know that that task is done. As soon as I am completing things, I would move it over to delivered. Um, and then cert certain things like a title, I'm gonna move over here because that's important. Anything, anything with an important link or an important thing that I'm gonna go in and copy, I'm gonna move over to the left. Uh, so that's why that's super important. Title and subtitle finalized right here. So as soon as we t t uh, finalize the title, I would actually write that in the description. I would write what the title was because when you're doing book launches and you're scheduling promos, you're gonna need that title <clears throat> a lot. You're gonna need to go in and copy and paste it. This is just a good way to make sure that you're always copying, you're always writing the right title. Uh, and for me, I'm lazy. I don't actually like typing out titles because I'm scared that I might get something wrong. I'm gonna put that in there and then from then on, I'm just gonna copy and paste from my Trello board for that person, for that client from now on. So that's where I would move that over there. So anything that's in progress, you would put that in the in progress thing. Uh, if it's gonna take a little bit longer, de definitely make sure you put it in the in progress so you know what you're working on. Uh, and then another important and really cool thing about the whole Kanban system, uh, we got deliverables, client tasks. So these are the to-do items, basically. We're gonna put it in progress to know what I'm working on. <clears throat> if a client was working on something, they would put that in progress as well. Uh, and then when it's done, we move it into the delivered. So as the project and as the task is moving along, you can see how things are moving. Uh, but super important here uh, and super cool thing about Trello and the whole organization system. Once it gets over here to, to delivered, uh, it's not like you're never going to look at it again. And it's a good reason not to close the card because I'm going to say this is delivered. Technically, once you get a title, you could put it in delivered. Uh, I like to keep it over here for whatever reason. I just like the title over there. But say the keywords and categories were chosen. We had it all finalized and whatnot. We had it delivered. They were done. Delivered. Good. Uh, I would actually type in the keywords and categories within the comment section so that when I have to go upload it to multiple places or the author has to upload it to multiple places, it will be there and ready for them to go. So whenever they have to do anything for their book, uh, they should or uh, I would suggest that they have this board up and open so that they can go in and say, okay, what, cat what categories did we decide on? I don't remember. Uh, I don't feel like going back through all my emails and finding out what categories we decided on months ago. No need to do that because they're gonna be right in the Trello board and right easy access for you. So as you're working on things, as you're doing stuff, pop it over to the delivered. Uh, that is why it's super powerful to have a delivered or a done uh, list. So you know that all of those things are finished. You don't have to do anything with them anymore, uh, but they're there for reference if you need them. And then two more lists I have over here. I have ideas and decision to be made. So each author has to make a decision on this. You could put this over in deliverables, um, but I prefer to keep it over here into decisions because that's just something I'm gonna have to talk to the client about and see what they wanna do. And then we have ideas in here. So this is, all, this is also something I'm adding to, uh, making sure that it stays updated. Uh, I don't, there's no reason for there to be two of those. Um, but it stays updated and it stays relevant. So I can go through these every once in a while. Uh, but again, the purpose of having this template is that I can just add to this list uh, and change it as I go. So that is my launch plan template. Uh, you probably aren't interested in launching a book and that's fine, uh, but my hope is and my guess is that this just gives you a little more of an insight into how to utilize Trello uh, and how to really make it work for you personally. Whatever your uh, tasks are, whatever your business is, uh, whatever, you, whatever your goal is, you can utilize Trello in an amazing way to get you closer to that goal. We're gonna be doing a couple more videos on demonstration of different lists uh, hopefully you can stick with me through this section. I think it's definitely valuable to look through and see how I'm doing things. Um, but I appreciate you watching this and we'll catch you in the next one.